Welcome back to LiveWire. I'm your host, Wes Doak, and I'm talking this evening and sharing some uh, stories about the uh, experiences on KCBL Cable Radio 88.7 with Del Morales and Steve Hoffman. Uh, just as we went to break, we were talking about how you made the transition from hearing about the station to coming over and signing up. I'd like to take just a second right at this point, to, in addition to welcoming our viewers and listeners to call us at 4565182. If you have any questions at all, that's 4565182 about how to do your own radio show, how to get involved, how to take classes, how to find out if time's available, uh, or how to hook up your radio to cable uh, 88.7. But uh, let's talk for just a second. I think I know the basics of how to make sure that you can receive cable FM radio in the home. Do either one of you want to take a shot at uh, telling our viewers and listeners how to make sure they receive your channels? Well, my, uh, my explanation of that, if you don't mind me, Steve. Well, please yeah. do. Please okay, do. my explanation of that is every time that I announce my, uh, my show is uh, that a simple acquisition of a splitter, hooking your stereo to your TV cable, uh, will get you 88.7. So out of the wall comes your cable wire, mm -hmm. and you put a splitter on it, send one to your television set, one to your FM radio receiver, right. and turn it to 88.7, and yes. voila. Voila. Just like that. KCBL. Let's uh, tell them a little bit more about the actual programs they would hear. I, the, the station is on pretty much 24 hours a day with a wide variety of programming. Some repeat, so everybody gets to hear them. Uh, tell us a little bit, Dell, about what's the name of your show, when is it on, and what do you feature on your particular show? My show is, I call it the best of the salsa sound. And it's on every Saturday from 2 to 4 in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And it's rebroadcast Sunday morning at 2 a.m. and Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. And what I do is I play salsa, salsa, merengue, and... Uh, I also would like callers, if they're interested, to give me a call and let me know what type of music from the best of the salsa artists that they would like to hear, and I would be glad to do it for you. And what number do they call when the show is live? On, like, here's a Saturday, what time again? It's uh, 2 p.m. in the afternoon. 2 p.m. on Saturday? 2 to 4. It's a two-hour slot, Saturday afternoon, salsa music, and call-ins if they'd like to do it. What number do they call in at that Four, time? 456-5199. 5199 is the number of people call if they want to talk to the... Uh, radio uh, personalities. Again, our number tonight is 4565182 if you'd like to participate. Steve, tell us a little bit about your show. I know you've, you already mentioned that you did, you've done different kinds of shows, but uh, what's your current show called and public, when is it on? Uh, it's called the SAC Town Lunch. It's a public affairs uh, show. I'll have a different uh, person from the community every week. It's on uh, Thursdays from 11 till noon, every uh, Thursday, like I said, and uh, the same uh, telephone number where people can uh, talk to the uh, guest, ask them a question. Uh, we try to keep it up to date, something that's going on in the uh, community. And uh, like I said, it might be a politician, it might be somebody that's uh, trying to make the community better, it might be a musician. It just uh, depends on who's available mm -hmm. and, and what uh, is interesting at the time. Who are some of your recent guests? Uh, mind, anyway. Well, let's see. I've had uh, uh, council member Robbie Waters. Uh, let's see. So many uh, different people. Mark Naftlin, who used to be with the Butterfield uh, Blues Band. We did a, a long-distance telephone uh, hookup, and he was talking about what he was uh, up to and a lot of his experiences in uh, music. He plays uh, with a lot of uh, different musicians. Uh, council member uh, Deborah Ortiz, uh, and then a lot of times we'll go out in the field uh, on a Saturday or Sunday. There'll be a community event uh, going on, and we'll take the uh, tape deck and we'll record uh, an event. Uh, for instance, I believe two Tuesdays ago it was National Night Out Against Crime, mm -hmm. and one of the neighborhood associations invited us to uh, go there and record the uh, activities. Uh, as it turned out, the chief of police, the mayor uh, showed up, uh, we, we interviewed them, but uh, more importantly, we talked to the people that were involved in that, setting it up, what their concerns were with uh, crime and everything. Let's take a short pause here. We have a caller on hold. Uh, go ahead, caller. You're on LiveWire. Do you have a comment or question for our guests? Yeah, I just, uh, I know Steve Hoffman. Uh, this is Lewis. Uh, how are you doing, Steve? Uh, good, Lewis. Good. I just uh, wanted to thank you. Uh, I didn't get a chance on National Night Out for doing your broadcast mm. at uh, Union House Elementary School in the Deerfield area. It was really a pleasure to have you come out and do the broadcast. Okay. So, uh, it was, anyway, it was just, uh, I just wanted to thank you and uh, get some, maybe some comments from you on what you thought of it. Okay, oh. thank you very much, caller. Uh, shows that uh, people do appreciate these uh, broadcasts, live or on tape, 
And uh, there's one example. I think his question in the end was, how, how did you find it? Was it enjoyable for the yeah, crew that, as well as for the people yeah, in the community? Yeah, uh, that's really uh, easy to uh, say. It was a privilege to be out there because I got a lesson in uh, civics, what it's all about. These are people just like uh, Wes, um, you know, myself, uh, who, who work. And, and they, they get involved in everything. And I know for myself, getting involved was uh, difficult because of uh, different responsibilities, but they made the uh, commitment. And you can see the uh, results out there. And you can sort of see democracy in action. And, and you can see what makes the community a little uh, better and everything. And, and, and I sort of hope that a lot of that's by osmosis. It'll rub off on me. But by being there, I get a, a good feeling. And uh, to be a, a part of it and everything. And it's a joy being around people like that, seeing what they are doing. Tell me uh, just quickly, when you go out to an event like the uh, uh, Night Owl, when do you actually run that tape? Do you bring it back and use it as part of your show on Thursdays? Or, uh, or if you are out doing something, would you bring it back? Or is it actually a special then that's run at a different time? Or how does that usually work? We, we've done uh, several different things uh, going back historically at uh, KCBL. We've done some live uh, hookups where it would be broadcast on a Saturday. Uh, we might have to have uh, Dell in the uh, studio doing the thing, or vice versa. I might have to be there and doing the event live over a phone line. And uh, a lot of times uh, you'll get a sound quality that isn't as good as taping it uh, live. Another option is taping it there, playing it back on the uh, weekend. They have something called KCBL Presents, and that's mm -hmm. dedicated to uh, public service uh, programs, uh, such as uh, what Lewis was talking about, National Night Out Against uh, Crime. Uh, well, like in my case, uh, right now, KCBL is, uh, is uh, uh, setting up every Thursday. Mm -hmm. and we do the Thursday night market mm -hmm. and uh, what we do out there is like I myself I MC the main stage with the band and I play my salsa and during the break time I play salsa music and what we do with that tape we come back here like on a Sunday we rebroadcast that that music okay. from 10 to 12 in the morning and that gives us a chance to let the community know who we are at, at the same time we let them know what we do and we also get more of music involve, involvement into our into our radio station. That's great. How much longer will the Thursday night market this run? Will, you? This will go on till October. All right. So people are interested in talking to a real live radio personality or hearing more about how to take the classes, how to participate. Could come to the Thursday night market, and you're down at the main stage. We where are, where is that generally? We are at Seventh and K. Seventh and K. In front of the uh, America Live. We, that's where we set up in front of America Live. Okay, I want to uh, go back to talking a little bit about the two of you as individual uh, uh, community citizens. Uh, if you don't mind my asking, uh, one of the things that's special about the volunteer efforts at KCBL and also at Access Sacramento is that almost everybody has a, a real job, another job. Uh, very few people, there are some, but very few people can afford to do this uh, as sort of their only thing. Uh, what do you do in real life, Dell? Let me put it that well, way. Well, believe it or not, I'm an aircraft engine mechanic. Is that right? For the Air Force, yes. All right, an engine aircraft mechanic for the Air Force. Uh, make a great salsa DJ, I guess. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> All right. And Steve, what do you do in real life? Uh, I'm a training facilitator for a Campbell Soup Company. All right. So uh, I think uh, what that does also for our viewers and listeners is to say, uh, this is not the place for, uh, that, for solely for people who have had an opportunity to have professional training, but just everyday folks can participate. Again, our number is 4565182. We're going to go away for just a moment for a short break. We'll be right back with Livewire talking about radio, cable radio, KCBL 88.7. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.